Hey, it's Biddy Penny, and it's time for Oh So Inspired, the collaboration where we case someone's work, and this case is Dania's Doodles over on Instagram, and we are casing this card and making it our own. So I was really inspired by the neutral gray with a pop of color, and I grabbed my uniquely creative supplies today, and I'm going to use these. This is Industrial Grunge. And then this is Flowering Utopia. I also have the Industrial Grunge uh, paper pad, which is a 12 by 12. And I grabbed it because I loved the neutral uh, backgrounds that these pages have. I love the numbers too, but for today's card, we're going to use the other side of this paper. I'm making two 5 by 7 cards. And now Dania's um, card, it looks like it's kind of like a Z fold. It might be a fun fold card. And as much as I love fun folds, and I know that recipients love receiving them, I'm just making a standard card. But my design is going to be inspired by her fun fold. So let me show you. I did some embossing and I cut my cardstock down those backgrounds to four and a half by six and a half. And then I'm also going to bring in this pockets, um, pocket circle stamp set from Dina Wakely. It's brand new. Um, release from her. So I was checking these these um, cut aparts are such a nice, sturdy, thick cardstock that I almost thought I had two of them. <laughs> when I grabbed these, I forgot just how scrumptious they are. I am totally in love with Uniquely Creative's quality and artistry. Um, they are an Australian company. I'll leave them linked down below. Also linked down below is all the collaboration teams information as well as a playlist. You can click on the playlist and it will play all the videos for you. You don't have to skip around, hop around, use links. It's my favorite. I love the playlist. <laughs> I can click it and just watch to my heart's content. So I hope you enjoy that as well. All right, so I grabbed ephemera and I grabbed a couple of sentiments and now I'm just trimming this down. It doesn't have to be any particular size and they're not e even e at all. Um, I just kind of wanted this part of the element to kind of mimic um, Daniel's card of how it felt divided because it was a fun fold. And so, you know, this is a very loose interpretation. I'm just playing and having fun. And oh boy, did I have fun. I love how these cards turned out and I really just had the best time making them. <laughs> I got to make these while taking some much needed time away from work and um, enjoying and celebrating my daughter's birthday. We were really kind of celebrating it all week long. <laughs> And so on the day that you see this, we'll be having her birthday party with her friends from school. We're meeting at a local mall and I'm giving them all some cold hard cash and they're going shopping. So <laughs> I know they're going to have a good time. I mean, that's what 11 year old girls want to do. So, uh, and then tomorrow it's a family birthday party with grandparents and aunts and uncles. So we should be having a good, good time. Now, I am just going to ink blend a little bit on one of these. I actually didn't ink blend for both cards. And what's kind of fun about making more than one card at a time like this is some of the process you don't have to think about because you're on an automated loop, like cutting my backgrounds to the same size for both cards. I know that I'm going to use ephemera on both cards. I know I'm going to use this embossing folder on both cards. Um, but then you get, you get room to play. So um, I'm going to play with the placement of the embossing folder in different places. I also played with ink blending one, but not the other. And 
I think that it lends itself to more creativity and exploration. So I encourage you to try it. Next time you sit down to make one card, go ahead and make two and do something a little different on the second card. Maybe be more adventurous, do something that feels a little, that you're a little unsure of maybe, um, and just try it and see how it works. Um, if you end up not liking it, well, then you still have the first card <laughs> that you were already designing in your mind, right? So I, I don't know. I just think it's fun to make two cards at once. Sometimes I'm making like eight at a time and they're all different, but yet they're like a set. I think it's a, I love making sets of cards too and giving sets of cards as gifts. So I'm using this uniquely creative, they have dots and strips. You get both in one pack. And I really think if they would be perfect for decoupaging images, um, but then also like for less postage, like these images are still popped up. It's still dimensional, but not in a way that you'll have to pay extra postage. And if you send a lot of cards or a lot of mail, that might be um, something that you consider. So um, I really like that they have a very subtle thickness to them. So here I put my strip in a different place and I'm putting my sentiment at the top instead of the middle. I'm moving my balloon down a bit. Aren't they gorgeous? I just love these hot air balloons with the flowers. And I thought these sentiments were just so fun. So this one says, be the sunshine. And the other one said to chase dreams. Now I am going to let that be the sunshine hang off the top of my card and the side of my card because I know that it will still fit on my card base. What I'm making right now are like my card fronts is what I call them. So I usually construct my cards not on the base itself. I usually adhere whatever I've made onto the card base for it to be completed, which you'll see in this video what I'm talking about. But I love paper and ephemera. I, it is hands down, without a doubt, my favorite kind of card making. It's just effortless and fun and beautiful. And I don't have to get in my head about coloring or there's not a lot of steps. It's just effortlessly easy. And I always love the results. <laughs> So now I'm going to bring in, though, some stamps because I do love stamping. And these are the Dino Wakely, um, I believe it's called Pocket Circles, the, the stamp set. And I just thought, well, let me check these out. Let me see if these work. So I'm going to peel back that uh, foam dot, which once they stick, they really are stuck. Um, and so, and then I pop these girls on here. And for some of y'all, this may be too much. It may not be your style. It, you may have loved the cards before I put the girls on them. But for me, the girls made these cards. Um, and that's just the difference of people's likes and dislikes, right? But to me, this little girl looking down at the bird, just kind of floating up, chasing her dreams. And then the other lady just a classic beauty. I don't know. I feel like that they really made these cards unique. I'm going to bring in my This Calls for Confetti. That's the brand name. And the color is Eclipse Sparkle Gems. And they're black and gold. And they, But they when they hit the light, they have a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink. And I thought they were perfect for these cards. They're small. Um, again, these I don't have to worry about postage. And although these cards look really dimensional, they're very texturized and detailed, they're still pretty flat, which is perfect <laughs> for mailing. Um, so I'm just going to glue these down. And that pretty much finishes up the final details for these two cards. 
Um, I am now I'm going to glue my card fronts down. So once I have everything exactly where I want it, I'm going to glue these down. The card that we are inspired by had a nice frame around it. And I love frames around my cards too. So that's always a part of the equation, but I think it's also a nod back to our inspiration piece. Please hop along, go join the playlist, see what everyone has made and say hello. And thank you so much for watching my videos and spending your time here with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been around a while, thank you. So um, thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you found some inspiration hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.